This is Ben Lang Henriks of Genii Software with Out of Notes Part 10 to SQL or DB2. If customers who want to take data and use it in a relational database such as SQL Server or DB2, I'm going to show you how you can do that now with Midas, with our new roadmap. This is the mini lessons.info site and it runs off a database. Each lesson is a separate document with complex data inside it. So if we go into the export to CSV, create a export directive, all we have to do is pick the database. We're going to export everything from the database. So we'll go to the SQL and slash export directory, use all the forms and all the fields, we'll save it, and then we can run the agent. You don't need a developer for this. There's the export directory. Click this and switch over and we'll see there's now a lesson subdirectory and there's the CSV file. Every item in those lessons is now represented by a separate column. The first row has the titles. Down here we have the additional images and attachments. Similarly we can take the Lotusphere Sessions database from a couple of years back. In this case, we don't want everything. We don't want all those people and things like that. We just want the sessions, and we just want some of the fields. So we're going to create a new directive, pick the sessions database. This time we're going to select the journal entry form, which is what stores the session, and then we'll just put a few of the fields in. The idea here is to take some notes data, and without having to have a notes developer at all, because not everybody has those anymore. You can just specify the information you want and export a high fidelity version of that. In this case, there's no rich text. So when we look at the CSV file, what we're going to find is just the items that we specified, the session ID, the session title, and the session abstract. We can pull that into DB2 or SQL Server and use that as we need it. I provided some links in the description below about how to take that CSV file and, and easily put it into SQL Server or DB2. Thank you for joining us and visit us again at minilessons.info.